how about Bella's ballerina recital last night? It was, it was really good. Glad she I surprised it. me. I'm glad we left the dog at home. You know. Right. I know she wanted to bring it and everything, but. You know, speaking of dogs, I was gonna see if maybe it'd be okay to bring some of the guys over for a game. Okay, well, how many people were you thinking about inviting? Just some of the people from work, no big deal. Okay, well, what do you want to do about food? I just told him to BYOB and maybe bring something. Scott said he would bring his world famous barbecue, you know, that you like, and then I'll probably uh, just do some burgers, dogs for the kids. So you, know? you already invited people? Oh, well, it looks like we have a flag on the play. Let's stop it right here and take a look at this moose. That's some obvious encroachment. He's way off sides. He's pretending to ask for permission, but in fact, he already has the lineup ready to go. Not a smart move at this point. No, no, agreed. And as you can see here, Gracie, not too happy about this. <laughs> How on earth is he gonna dig his way out of this one? I don't know, I don't know. Let's toss it down to the field to our home getting specialist to see if there's any good advice for Chuck at this point. Our home getting specialist just happens to be my lovely wife, Diane. Diane, give us your expert opinion on how Chuck is doing right now. Should he be considering a Hail Mary? I don't think we're ready for that. But if we take a step back, we could find that this could actually be a win-win situation for everyone. There's no need for Gracie to panic. A little preparation and teamwork go a long way. First, start with a list. Figure out who's bringing what and what you need to get. If you think people may not bring extras, then try to have enough to cover the whole crew. The one thing you really want to nail down is the main food items. If someone's planning to bring it, like Scott and his barbecue, then it's best to really lock in those details. Chuck had a great idea of burgers and dogs for the kids, and anyone else that may not be a fan of your main course. Through it all, remember, simple, easy, and fun. Finger foods, veggies, easy chips and dips go a long way. Setting up an area for food can be simple and fun, too. Move the chairs out into the living room for more seating. Since most people will gather around the TV, take advantage of your entire table and make a spread. And you have an easily accessible buffet. And of course, have paper plates and napkins for everyone. Time with friends is more important than dishes on a day like today. Remember I said this could be a win-win? Well, this is a great time for Gracie to encourage her man to do some of the things he's been putting off. So relax and enjoy, even if football isn't your cup of tea. Invite your own friends and gather for a great time. For more home gating ideas, recipes, and free downloadable coupons, visit homegatinghq.com. This is Diane Johnston with another valuable tip from the Home Gating Zone. See you next time. Well, there you have it, folks. There's your handy tips. Enjoy your home gating. Thanks, Moose. You're welcome. <laughs>